going to be replacing the multifunction switch or the uh, turn signal switch in this Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, it's a 2008. And uh, first step is to remove these three screws. So you've got uh, one here, one here, um, and actually may, oh, and one down, one down here. So those three screws under the steering wheel. I believe that they are uh, Torx screws. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're T20s, perhaps. And they were T20s, I just, it's hard to get it. To, uh, they were T20s, it was just hard to get it started. To get that last screw out, I just pulled down on that lower panel. It pops right down. That's where your fuse box is. That's how I got access to that screw. There, oh, there it is, it fell out. One, two, three. Got them all right there. Looks like we can pull the two pieces of support. Let's pull this lower one. Straight up. I think that handle is down here. I had to wiggle the handle. Get this lower part off. So there you go. All right. Here's the switch that we're taking off. And it looks like uh, maybe one screw here, and that's it. That would be easy. Looks like there's also a... Uh, wiring harness that needs to be unplugged from it right there so that's that this one will need to be unplugged and then this screw needs to come out now the issue i'm having with this is that it didn't want to stay in the up position when i'm turning right seems to be doing okay here it was kind of intermittent this Whoops. and there we go so there we have the old one unplugged and uh, now I'll plug the new one in now the other thing about the new one is is that it has a fog light position and uh, that's gonna be handy when I install the fog lights here shortly so this video will be useful for uh, installing fog lights when you don't have them on your OEM uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee, but we'll get into that in the next video. Just want to test it real quick. I don't want to focus. There we go. I want to test it real quick. Uh, the headlights come on. The, uh, of course, the fog lights won't work. Whoops. I don't have it in yet. Blinkers work. And uh, the uh, brights come on when I pull. Uh, when the headlights are on, the brights come on and they come on when I pull. So that's good. So, uh, looks like everything's working on that. Good. So, let's go ahead and reattach everything. Screw goes back in. Of course, I already hooked the wires up, which you saw. Now we will get the uh, bottom of the steering wheel. And we're gonna get that around the latch. And get it up in place, and then I'll get the top in. Uh, probably gonna need two hands. Okay, I got everything clipped together. Huh? Let me close up that one little gap, and then I'll put these screws back in. Then we'll close that back up. Just the last screw. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.